zombie apocalypse. Hey friends, I need you in Tinkercad and I want you to create a new design with Beta. When you get in Beta, I want you to double click up on the name and I want you to name it Cat Toy and put your name after it and then press enter. We're going to quickly grab a sphere. I want you to drop that sphere on the work plane. Hold down shift on the keyboard and make that little critter 40 by 40. I want you to do control D to duplicate it. Remember that they're on top of each other, so I'm using the arrow to move it out. I'm grabbing that corner, and I want to take the other one, and I want to make it down to 38. So it's two millimeters on each side different, and that is going to make it so that it's the perfect size to be a hole. Make sure you grab the skinny one, make it a hole, and I want you to arrange those centered up and down, centered in the middle, and centered in the middle, and then select that whole bunch and group it so you've just cut out that cool piece. Click the solid and make it transparent so now you can take a good look at how it's a hole. We are going to put a ball inside this. I want you to drag another sphere out and I want you to shrink this little fella down to uh, 9 by 9 and just leave him aside. And then we're going to cut holes in this so that the cat can see the ball and uh, when it rolls around it will make noise. Drop your sphere on. Rotate so you can see the side of the sphere and rotate it using the inside tick marks. See these long tick marks? They let me go by uh, 22 and a half degrees at a time until I've got 90. Once again, I want you to hold shift and I want you to shrink that down. And this time we're going to go down to 7 by 7. And I want you to make it nice and long so that it's bigger. See how that said 43? We want it larger than our... Uh, sphere was. We want to do control D and we want to nudge it across so that there's a gap between them and control D and we want to nudge that across and we want to make that a group. So we've got a hole that is a group so we're going to line them by center. I'm going to hit a line again because it was off it and we're going to line them this way and then I'm going to just click on my group and I'm going to raise it up a couple bits. So now I've got nifty holes in my sphere. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to raise the next one up. And I'm going to do control D. And it already raised up nice and smart. And I'm going to select all that. And I'm going to group it. And now I have cut out holes in my sphere. And the ball will not fall out of them. It's got some nice rounded edges and it looks fancy. And it's pretty doggone slick. The last piece of the puzzle is to uh, put a little pedestal for the ball that's inside to print on. Once again, hold the shift key on the keyboard and shrink that down to one by one. Uh, I have to zoom in so that I can get a better look at it. And when you've got it one by one, remember control Z if you ever mess up. So I'm holding shift and moving that in. There's two by two, there's one by one. Raise it up so it's three millimeters high. And then I want you to do control D to duplicate and nudge one over and control D to duplicate and nudge one over so that it looks a little bit like a uh, pyramid or a triangle. Group those. And this is what the ball is going to sit on. So there they are grouped. We want to take those two pieces and we want to align them nice and quick by hitting align and align. And then here's where the cool magic happens. Click on the ball and hide it. Take the new ball and click on your other shape, be on top. And I want you to click both pieces and align it. So there I've clicked the one group. I've clicked the other group. I'm going to hit align. I want to put them centered. And I want them centered. And then I'm going to take the ball. And remember how we went three millimeters up? I'm going to raise it up three millimeters. So it's sitting on those little uh, pins. And then when we're done, I'll be able to break that off after it's printed. I'm going to go down 0.25 so that I know that it's all touching. 
there it is just barely touching so the ball will still be nice and round um, but it's going to be easy to break off once it's done I group those I bring everything back into the vision I take the two pieces and I align them once again centered and centered and you have just made a awesome printable cat toy Zombie Apocalypse.